fuck all you people. Hey, we're House of Broken Promises. Stephanie's Rock Show dot com. Our honest M N News. Hi, this is Stephanie. We're back with Stephanie's Rock Show dot com. Playboy Radio Metal. Oh, sorry about that. Um, hi, we're here with three sexy guys that are in my house, literally and on my bed right now. Called House of Broken Promises. Thank you very much for coming on the show. No. So uh, you couldn't tell by the smell of that dildo that it wasn't a microphone? Oh, I'm sorry. I think it was just used for anal play right before I walked in the room. So I had no idea. I love the but, smell of a nice yeah, anus. I, I get turned on by the smell of ass. So it's just something. My mouth needed to go towards it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was weird. Um, so, guys, I want to talk about um, the latest music video that I just saw with a ton of sexy, hot girls. Right. Where did you find them? Um, wrangling hot babes for video is a far bigger hassle. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Do that shit, baby. Do that shit. Okay, Ooh, my anyway. dog was just dragging his ass across the floor because uh, I right. probably used the dildo on him earlier. Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, that's animal cruelty. That's all right. We did our first video called The Hurt with Rick Kosick from Jackass, blah, 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 right? Okay. So uh, he wanted a new video. I'm like, sweet. I got an idea. I got a buddy of mine that owns this lighting company, blah, blah, blah. Hit him up, do it in his shop. When he, you know, is not renting this shit out and I'm using it for whatever big mega tour, he's a huge supporter of us. So he's like, fuck yeah, let's do it. So yeah. we planned it at the right time where he wasn't busy, we could do it, and we put it together. It would have cost us fucking $8 billion, but... It looks you know, really professional, yeah. you know what I mean? And all that shit would have been like, you know, $100,000 to rent it. We just yeah. like paid for the generator to power it, blah, 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 blah. And so. Obey the Snake is the name of it, and I didn't see any penises. I was kind of looking for penises. You did see a snake. Yeah. You did see you a did. snake. You did, but That's I just think, I think penis. Snake. I was trying to. See yeah, I know. We tried. Actually, it ended up on the cutting room floor. So. Yeah, yeah. It might you be know. too explicit for YouTube too. Exactly. The fans could. I was out. swinging exactly. my cock the whole time. What are you talking about? He was. <laughs> and I, I love your guys's. You were quoted in his interview from liking from Iron Maiden to Michael Jackson. That seems oh, like yeah. a huge collective amount of yeah. artists. Like, what oh, else is in between, and what else influences you guys? Jeez. Uh, everything and anything and nothing. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's for me. Um, it's a vast thing. I love Michael Jackson. I listen yeah. to that shit all day long. Yeah. All my, all my I thought that was record. just interesting. Like Iron Maiden and Michael Jackson, yeah. you don't put them in the same category. Iron Maiden was my first huge arena concert that I went to. His too, you know what I mean? And then, but I love Michael Jackson. All my record player now is Stevie Wonder and the song is Key Life. And I've listened to that for like two months or something. And that's it nice. at home. You know what I mean? So it's... Good I mean, I music is good music. Yeah. All the way around. All the way around. I love it. Well, you guys also were quoted, which I thought was different, unique, as you like your sound to be very heavy, but yet musical. Describe what that means. Uh, wow, what was this quote? Who uh, quoted that? that? Was this was at South by Southwest. This was recently. Fill in the gap. So, well, we all, we've all known each other. We all met in, like, high school marching band. Oh so we've God. all played, like, I played sax. Played, we played the mandolin. We played the male organ. We played the skin flute. We played the mandolin. We, <laughs> that's how we all met, you know. Uh, Five-string mandolin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mandolin. I love it. Right? Yeah. So you guys are a very classical group of people. Oh, yeah. Very classy and classical. Grew up us. listening and playing different kinds of shit. So we definitely have always been into, you know, uh, We've been lovers, lovers of music, yeah. whatever yeah. it may be. That's cool. You don't discriminate or anything. We don't uh, discriminate. No, not at all. So, <laughs> so you guys are out on tour right now. Um, where did right you now. Where did you guys right, right this fucking very second? They're passing through Santa Cruz slash Monterey, California. Where are you guys headed to right now? Uh, next show is Modesto and then Fresno. And then the last show of this tour is back in L.A. Wow. Yeah. We started in L.A. with a show at Crazy Girls for our video release party. Crazy Girls. Which was fucking awesome. Shout and, out to uh, girls yeah, dude, everybody. Mike, Love who it. puts on the shows there, and everybody works there. Malice. All the, everybody works there, own it. They, they're good people. They treat us right. They love us. We love them. It's a fucking good time. Because L.A. is, the scene is dead and nothing. And that's what we're trying to do there is, like, create a scene where yeah. it's just fun to go regardless. Bring something fresh and new because everything's yeah, just kind of been oh, done. Fucking venues suck and this and that and there's no vibe and nobody goes or they do go if only if it's this or that. It's a bunch of bullshit. So it's always been positive there and... We're all, you know, doing our best to create a scene again. Yeah. Good fucking music, good bands, cool people that want to help each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's fucked up too. Totally. And shout out to my girlfriend, Angel, that works at Crazy Girls. I love you. Um, okay, so what have you guys changed the most from your demo, which was death and pretty rapping, to using for useless? What has changed about your guys' band? Uh, first well, of all, up. we got rid of that singer, 
and uh, we said, fuck. Look. Let's do, uh, look, I don't know. Actually, we're all, yeah, it's prettier, aren't we? Yes, yeah. Yeah. he's right. You guys got gym memberships from the demo to this album? <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> or lack thereof. I wouldn't say much has changed uh, other than, I mean, the, the absence of that singer changed pretty much the entire sound of it because the music was still the same music. But I think we got a lot more of the aggression that we wanted to get out in the music. A little bit heavier vibe okay. came well, out just naturally, you know. Yeah. yeah. And us three, we, we've known each other forever, so we got a good vibe together. And you know, it's just hard, kind of hard to bring in another element from someone that isn't familiar with us or anybody and, that can and, actually really get along with Arthur. Somebody that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hey. maybe some I'll, band drama. <laughs> um, you know what? We do it for real, man. We're not fucking around, and that's like that's one of those things. It's like we're out here to do this to do it we're not it's not a hobby it's not like i want to do this on weekends or let's fucking what it's we're gonna do this regardless and that's it and yeah. it's full on and it takes a lot of effort and it takes a lot of work and some people are cut out to do it some people aren't man if it was easy everybody would be doing it but you know everybody doesn't do it so it's a lifestyle it's more this is your choice that you sure. guys are taking yeah. on well, I'll so play till the day I, die. I love it what website can we find you on you guys have myspace uh, we're facebook just, we're redoing our website so the facebook hobp music um we don't check the myspace don't even go there <laughs> is myspace still working it's, is it alive it's, yeah it's dead alive actually i like myspace better for the band shit that was a little easier facebook whatever yeah um but on there they'll have thing we're revamping the website so that should be up soon um YouTube, we've got a YouTube that's getting, we're posting, we're gonna, we filmed this tour and like this West Coast we did, and we're gonna start shitting out little fucking clips, you know what I mean, all the fun and stupid shit and, you know, because it's an adventure, man, I the mean, road, yeah. it is, you it's get some fucking, awesome nutty footage that you guys, live in some weird fucked up bad reality show for sure, <laughs> man, that's, that's fucking real, it's like, really, is this that, really, what the fuck, okay, cool, I love it, so we definitely try to capture all that shit, man, because it's, I see the flip cam there, so watch out. Check, be checking YouTube for House of Broken Promises crazy, crazy footage. So, thank you very much, you guys, for stopping by on the show, and uh, I'm looking forward to everything you guys are doing in this tour. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Yes, check it out. Facebook, blah blah blah. New video, Bay the Snake. Check it out. Thank you. I love it. Everybody else. Uh, Aiden Gray. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank me. Your parking lot's open for RV parking. It saves <laughs> our lives. <laughs> for bands out there, take yeah. the tidbit. You can park at Walmart and not get harassed, and it's open to It's a good so you your RV, your Use bed. the pisser. It's it's somewhere to crash. Fresh up this morning. Whole tour has been Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. Food and alcohol right there. You can Dude, exactly. Movies. Go get an RV. Five dollar movies, come on.